Hi guys! Obviously, as you can tell by the title, this video is inspired by the channel Simply Neological. I love Christine's videos and I was amazed at how many of you guys watched that as well. So I decided to do one whole DIY dedicated to all you holosexual unicorns out there. Since my nails are way too tiny for nail art, I decided to work on phone cases instead because I think this size is pretty much idiot proof. To get started, you'll need all these art supplies which I've linked in the description box below. I know that all this stuff doesn't come cheap, which is why I want to show you an app called App Bounty or Bounty Bucks that lets you earn free Amazon gift cards to spend on anything you want. Two of my favorite YouTubers, Karina Garcia and Macuccino, have also mentioned this app on their channels, so you might know about it already. Just like them, I will only show you guys something which I think is genuinely useful. App Bounty is entirely free, so if you have a phone and some spare time, then it's such a good way to make some extra money without even leaving your house. To start using the app, you just need to look for App Bounty for Android or Bounty Bucks for iPhone. Both of them are exactly the same thing. Once you download the app, be sure to use my code CUTE, which gives you extra credits just for getting started. To earn more credits, you simply need to complete the tasks which are shown inside the app. Many of the games are really fun to play, however you don't actually have to use any of the apps if you don't want to. You just need to download them and then leave them open until you see that you've received your credits. On this page you can see how many credits are required to trade in for gift cards. So please go check out App Bounty and you're one step closer to getting gift cards that you can spend on art supplies, makeup, nail polish or anything you like. Also, for full disclosure, I was not paid for this video, but I do get a tiny commission for every person who uses my referral code CUTE. Getting App Bounty is completely free, so if you like my videos, then this is actually a way for you to indirectly support my business and living expenses. All the proceeds made from this video will go towards providing a happy life for these two little fluff balls and my never-ending quest for finding weird Asian craft supplies that I can film for YouTube. So without any further ado, let's move on to the phone cases. I started by drawing my own unicorn, so this design is 100% royalty free. I've linked the template down below in a few different sizes which would fit most phone cases. The larger designs are easier to make, so you might want to start with those for your first attempt. First, print out your template onto normal thin paper. This makes it a lot easier to cut out. If you want to use a small design like this, then you might need to use a craft knife to get all the details. So now we're basically going to turn this into a very large nail vinyl using eyelash glue. This glue is included with all fake lashes, so you can simply buy a really cheap pair which only costs a few dollars. This is a latex-based glue which will turn the paper into a template that you can peel off easily afterwards. Obviously you shouldn't use real glue for this because that will simply stick the paper onto the plastic. Just apply the glue all around the edges, making sure it covers up every detail. Then simply stick it onto your phone case and use a toothpick to clean up any excess. Mix up some pastel colors using acrylic paint and add a big blob of white glue to each shade. This is the secret ingredient that keeps your paint flexible so it won't chip or flake if you bend your phone case. Then take a makeup sponge and start dabbing the colors on. Pay special attention to the edges and try not to get any paint underneath the paper. And don't forget to add paint around the size of your phone case as well. Once you have a base color, use pale pink or white to add some highlights. This immediately gives your design more depth. Acrylic paint dries very matte, so I decided to glaze it with clear white glue. However, I wasn't thinking too clearly at this point because I painted the glue all over the template, which obviously stuck the edges down. So if you want to glaze it with glue, then be sure to remove the paper unicorn first. Use a toothpick to help you lift the edges and work very slowly and carefully. Some parts of the paint might start to tear off, so poke these back into place. Sadly, I did lose some of the detail in the unicorn hair, but I was really quite pleased with how this turned out. While the paint is still soft, you can tidy up the edges using a toothpick. For the next design, I want to use a slightly larger unicorn, which is easier since I nearly had a heart attack trying to peel off the smaller one. I only had black eyelash glue left at this point, which looks messy but is not a huge problem since the glue peels off easily. However, just make sure you remove any glue that covers the part of the phone case where you want to paint over. For this phone case, I want to make a galaxy design, so I'm using black, red, blue and purple acrylic paint. 
Don't forget to mix in some white glue with each color. The glue dries transparent so it won't affect the final shades. And just like before, use a makeup sponge to blend your colors together. Acrylic paint is a lot like nail polish because you normally need two or three coats to make it fully opaque. Once your base colors are done, use some lilac or white paint to create some highlights and make some stardust looking clouds. Then dilute some white paint with water and flick it from a brush to create stars. If you get any streaky lines like this, then you can simply blend them out using a makeup sponge. Then use a toothpick to draw on some detailed stars and your galaxy is done. You can use this method for painting galaxies on anything you like, not just phone cases. Just like before, carefully peel off the unicorn and use a toothpick to help you in case any parts of the paint starts to lift off. Once the paper is peeled off, cut off the unicorn's hair and stick this using eyelash glue to the inside of your phone case. Then sponge white paint from the inside so the body part is no longer see-through. And lastly, just peel off the hair and your phone case is almost done. Now comes the most important part for all holosexuals. I found these metallic transfer foils from an art shop and you can get even more amazing ones on Amazon by searching for a holographic foil. These foils normally need to be used with a special transfer glue, but I think that sounds like a lot of hassle, so for this DIY I'm just going to use this clear packing tape instead. The phone cases I got had this foam piece inside which works perfectly as a template. But if you don't have it, then just trace the outline of the phone case onto paper, cut that out and use it as a template instead. So what you want to do is to take some transparent tape and make a piece the same size as your phone. Make sure that the sticky side is facing up. Then cut out a piece of foil that fits the phone case in the place where you want your hollow to go. Now flip your case around like this to find the correct position for the foil, and then press it onto the right place on the tape. Then simply trim it a bit and then glue it inside your case to create your sparkly unicorn. Notice that I deliberately used a large piece of tape because I wanted to cover up the entire part of this white paint. This protects your phone from direct contact because you don't want any paint accidentally flaking off onto your precious hardware. And lastly, I want to glaze my galaxy using the best hollow top coat that was recommended by Christine. This is called Diamond by Fun Lacquer. Now I'm simply repeating the same process for the other phone case. Cut out some holographic foil and press it onto the tape. Then press this into your phone case and make sure everything is firmly stuck down. So now you have two unicorn phone cases made using nail art techniques. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to check out App Bounty using my code CUTE. You can earn points to buy all the supplies I used in this video. This screen shows you how many points you need in order to trade it for Amazon or iTunes gift cards. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!